Carlos. This is season five of Off Your Flosser podcast. Season cinco. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to say it in Spanish. That's fair enough. Throw back to your heritage. You know. All right. Well, all right. Well, thanks for listening, Thank guys. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah. Boom. Tickety boom, talk. Boom. Or whatever. Mic check. Uh, mic check. <sighs> Keep dropping my phone. Like, I've seriously dropped it like 45,000 times. And I'm hoping it's just the glass screensaver that's cracked because oh wait can you just peel it oh, off yeah. yeah but then i don't i don't have another one yet so those little thin ass glass screen i have one on mine and i dropped it and, and like it landed on that right little corner and yeah. broke and i'm like that that had to break the glass it, but it didn't it it, it broke the it little just, screen protector so right I guess it yeah worked, and right so. now I can tell it's just the uh, screen protector that's cracked. So I guess it works then. <laughs> yeah. Well, you would hope that excuse me, the glass that they use is thicker and stronger. So you would hope for uh, $4 million dollars a phone. So, Well, I think it's helicopter glass, ain't it? Hell, I don't know. It sounds know. cool, though. That's you know? what they used to say, but I don't know. Maybe it's I a think they call it gorilla glass. That's offensive. It is. <laughs> thought, like gorilla, I mean, as in gorilla warfare, or at the zoo, gorilla. Like, like the 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 ape. So it's like super strong. Yeah, that's. You know. That's offensive. Um. <laughs> I don't think gorillas oh even wear glasses, so it could be exactly. Could that's be what I'm saying. Bullshit, so. They have perfect vision. You know. You know what I was thinking? Now that you brought up gorillas, um, <laughs> episode, and this is what episode one ninety four, by the way. It is, and I'm yeah. gonna uh, uh, apologize for my behavior and stuff because I just woke up and I've been dealing with sickness all week, and so my voice is a little sa- sultry. Give me a phone number, and I'll call them, and I'll talk sexy, and see if they like it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any phone numbers. Uh, John's gonna just hang up. He's like, I'm fair. sick of this crap. You do this to me all the time you know. when you're not on the phone, and now by golly, you do it when you're sick. Come on, <laughs> come on, lady. Well, I, I anyway. don't know. You just woke up, and I went to bed maybe you know 45 minutes ago. It feels like. I mean, it, it was maybe like three hours ago, but um, you know, this is what happened. I um was tired last night and I, I took me what i thought was going to be like a 45 minute nap it turned into about three hours you know yes i hate those three hour naps so now i wake up you know and it's almost 10 p.m then i can't fall asleep right until it's like you know the sun's coming up almost anyway so you know, my, yeah. my schedule is all mixed up but anyway episode 194 right Yes. Yes, it is. And we started talking about gorillas. Yes. Have you seen gorillas eat vegetation? Like when the, those mountain gorillas, those high mountain gorillas, you know, with the silverbacks yeah, and those so, guys, yeah. right? Yeah. Like how much like bamboo and, and apples do you have to eat to be 600 pounds of pure muscle? Do they eat meat? I feel like, I feel like some do and some don't. Like some like gorillas? versions. Man, I can't talk. Some versions of them, species, that's what I'm, some species probably eat meat, of course, and then, but I don't think, like, the silverbacks, you got the Googles right at your fingertips. I saw the documentary I told you about, about chimps, Mm -hmm. and those things are just wild. I mean, you know, uh, and they eat meat. I saw them hunt not like live, but I'm on, on this documentary. Yeah. I saw them yeah. hunt another monkey, like a monkey with a tail, right? And they they ate Dang. it, and and I was like, "Damn, that's that's horrifying." That is, golly. There was a um the my thing with with vegan veganism is the B twelve thing. Like, how do you get around that? How do you explain that if veg- vegan is supposed to be how you live? Because B12 has to come from animal by- byproduct. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not trying to pick a fight with vegans. Yeah, but let's be you- honest. If if you're a vegan, you probably can't can't fight. But I'm just saying. <laughs> he lives in Atlanta. Don't come to my house. I didn't say that. 
<laughs> no, I don't know. I, I I'm talking, <laughs> you know, mad shit, but um, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But it says they stick mainly to a vegetarian diet, okay. feeding on stems, bamboo shoots, and fruits. So, man, I guess they do yeah. eat some some meat every once in a while. Maybe bugs. You know? Do they consider bugs carnivor carn carnivorism? I don't know. I think if you eat uh, anything living, I don't know. Hey, plants live. Some people argue that plants have feelings too. So, you know, talk yeah. nice to your plants, or else they're gonna die. Sorry. I, I I think the consensus is that gorillas are eat majority, uh, you know, vegetation. Right. But I, 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 if you got teeth like that, why wouldn't you eat something? Dude, yeah. if I was well, a gorilla, bro, that's all I would be eating. I'd be burgers. fighting tigers and stuff in the jungle, you know what I mean? Or whatever lives out there. It's not the yeah. jungle, the forest, right? Rainforest? Yeah. I'm sure there's monkeys in the jungle, too. I mean, haven't you seen yeah. The, yeah. the jungle book? Yeah, I guess. There's a whole flock of them. I don't know. But those things are horrifying, and they're ripped. <laughs> yes, they They're like are. four or 500 pounds, and they're just shredded abs and, and giant shoulders. You know, you know, they they, get to hold you. It's over. They try to argue that we uh, descended from apes and and stuff like that. But if you think about it, wouldn't it make more sense that we came from kangaroos? Have you seen them? They look like from torso to just the torso. It looks like a dude. And they're tall. And they're tall. And they got an attitude. So. Just saying, Darwin got it wrong. <laughs> all right, well, don't. All right, see now we're going down a weird rabbit hole. I'm I'm flipping the whole script. People are so, are, are going to be in an uproar. But kangaroos, yeah. though, man. But the feet, you know. I got big feet. I mean, Tail? they're average size. Eight and a half is like the average women's size. Thank you very much. But is it? Clowns have big feet. Seems a little large <laughs> to me, but no, I don't know. I, I have no idea what normal. I have big feet too, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, check out average American shoe size for men and women. Dude, what is it, the this Google is show? The right. Googles. Yeah, yeah, this is the Google episode. We're gonna, we're changing the world right now, Carlos. You know, we talked about it for so long, but it's happening. All right. It says it has been estimated that the average shoe size for an adult. Across the world is somewhere between a U.S. size 7 and a U.S. size 8. Okay. 10 and a half for men, it says on this thing. All right. And then 8 and a half to 9 for women. Okay, so you're right. 8 and a half. Um, for men, it was 10 and a half? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think John's at 12. It's not a contest, but. But <laughs> let's be honest here. Um, <coughs> so sorry if I cough a lot. Yes, that was a subject change because this is a kid's show. Or, well. <laughs> you, we're just talking shoe sizes. Oh, that's you know? right. Sorry, I got confused for that's a minute. literally what we're talking about. I am. Um, uh, Tell me about your two day stint without food. Ugh. Well, I, I tried to um to accelerate yeah. the results, right? I figured yeah. if one day of fasting is good, yeah, then you did two simple days math should be even better, you know. Exactly. And I think I was uh, I was plateauing a little bit, or maybe uh, maybe overdoing it on my uh, on my eating days, right? And, okay. Um, okay. Just a ton of fruit and so just overdoing it, right? And yeah. uh, so I said, let me just go a little bit longer in between. Um, so what's today? Saturday. Yes. So today's an eating day, and yes. I eat Sunday night, Wednesday, and tonight. That's so you crazy. ate Sunday night, right? Then you ate Wednesday, yeah. So you skipped Monday and Tuesday, right? You ate Wednesday, you skipped Thursday and Friday. You still haven't eaten though, so you're but you're gonna eat today, right? Wow, I bet you're gonna save a fortune on groceries, dude. It's it's ridiculous. 
And here's the thing. I'll go out and eat with the family. Yeah. And just sit there. And I go, well, let me get, let me go grab a coffee, like a Dunkin' Donuts or something or Starbucks, right? Mm-hmm. And then, because I don't want to just sit there like an idiot, because then they're like, you know, what's going on? Right. You know yeah. I mean? it, salivating and stuff. So they're like, yeah. um, would you like something? I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. I just I just ate or I ate earlier and just, just blow it off. I don't. You just Need be like, mind your own business. Yeah, it's just whatever. It's literally their job to ask you if you want something. And you're like, mind your own business. I know, right? <laughs> Who's a, who asked you? You know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> why would you say something like that? You just say I'm starving. But it, <coughs> oh my gosh, it's oh. not as it's 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 a little weird, but it's not as hard as it sounds. But it does. You have to ignore. What they're eating, you know what I mean? I, I don't. Right, you have to be in the zone, and you can't just start off. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can't just start off with a two day stint. You would probably die. You're. I, I like, don't know if uh, you'd die, but you definitely wouldn't. It wouldn't be as easy as. Okay, as it is maybe now. it's a little dramatic, but <laughs> so for example, yesterday I I got shaky again, and I was like, oh man, I gotta eat something. So it <laughs> happened last Friday, and then it happened yesterday at work. And can, I, can I ask you a personal question? I'm Virgo, thank you. Oh, I'm married and fifteen. No, um, yeah, I'm like in the double digits, so triple digits. Okay. No, no, like, <laughs> go ahead. Ha- have you had? And I'm not. And I'm not trying to be funny or, or offensive in any way. So please forgive you me. You don't offend me. Go ahead. What? The uh, have you had your blood sugar, your A1C, and all that stuff done recently? So, no, not recently. The last time I had it done was when I was pregnant, so that was oh gosh, probably three and a half years ago, but everything was fine then. Um, so I'm trying to think though, like, yeah, I haven't had a test in a long time. I um, I had my physical. I don't know. July after July, because you know yes. when I had the whole back thing and I yeah I, yeah. So they checked everything and everything was good. Yeah, cholesterol was a little high, which is important because of my history. Yeah, right. And he goes, "You're not pre-diabetic, but you're like pre-pre-diabetic." Pre, you know what I'm pre, saying? Pre-diabetic. So yeah. is yeah. there like like one more? You know. Two tenths of a point more, and we're, you're going to be in the pre. <laughs> One more pre, and you're and there. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, all right. So that's that's that kind of scared me. So should have you, you know, how do I want to say this? But you're not going to pass out if if I I I, I guarantee you, if we were you we were stuck in a car, it was snowed in, right? Or water. Yes. Yeah. You can get out and 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 go to the bathroom or whatever. We just didn't have food. I think you'd be hangry. But I think you'd be fine. Yeah. And that's why I keep snacks in the car at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. But that's well, well, Why do you have three cans Thanks, of Carlos. Pringles now under the seat? Now I'm scared of that. No. I'm yeah. just, do what? Why do you have three cans of Pringles under the seat? Just for emergencies. My you daughter know? calls me the other day. She sends me a picture. Oh, actually, a FaceTime video, right? Because she's doing it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. But not as yeah. long as you or... No, 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 no. She just okay. kind of started, so. Yeah. And and she's got little kids that she's responsible for. See, I don't have little kids that I'm responsible for. Right, right. So it's not like I have to make dinner for anybody. Right. And, 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 you right. know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um, But she showed me my, my grandson, and uh, she goes, look at this. Look at this. And my man was covered from chin to, like, his belt line with Pringle dust. And then... uh. They went to the supermarket. He wanted a can, so they, he started munching on them on the way home. And at one point, I guess he ate enough, and he was just crushing them and, and sprinkling them on on himself. I'm it's like, like Pringle gonna, glitter, yeah. Like, like, you're gonna have to get the vacuum out or let the dog in the car, one or the other, you know? Yeah, or both, you know. You can't have anything clean with kids. They're just oh, I know, I know. Wild, yeah. So when Evans was here, Big Tuna was here. Um, was it for Thanksgiving? And we rode in my Bronco, you know, with his car seat and all that. I went and picked him up from the airport and, and, and all that. And then any driving around, we, we took the Bronco. And as we got to the airport and took the car seat out, 
I was like, wow. Um, yeah, so uh, as soon as I got home, I vacuumed it out. I wiped everything down because there were like, you know, prints on the windows. His feet was kicking, they, they were kicking the chair in front of, or the seat yeah. in front of it. Crumbs, handprints, you name it. And that was just from like four days. Dude, so I put a t-shirt <laughs> over my driver's seat because Ant Man yeah. sits in the back and he likes to rest his feet up against the back of the seat. Right. It's and it's not like he was in the sit. mud, but just to keep. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, but yeah, but kids are wild, dude. They'll 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 <laughs> destroy anything. Let's just say they haven't had enough practice with aiming for their mouth. And then he'll hold food low, and one of the dogs will come by and snatch it out of his hand. And then does he get upset? You no, know, I think he does it on purpose. Some yeah. most of the time, or yeah, or if I go, you done? All right, we'll give it, give it to Coco, and Coco's always standing by. Oh She's yeah, just, just hawking him, just like yeah, what's going on? Just pacing yes. around in circles, like. Yo, go lay down, man. You know, I'm just waiting. I'm here. She's like, what? I'm just hanging out, you know, because I know he's going to drop something or I'm going to steal it. One or the other. And uh, right. So, yeah, ridiculous. We have one. Shelby lays like so if we normally we'll just sit on the couch and eat and watch TV and stuff. But if we have people over, then we're at the island sitting around and she sits at our feet underneath because she knows something's going to happen. Yeah. Smart. Smart, but um, yeah. I was gonna tell. Uh, so, I told you it was his birthday. He just turned three, all right. So I go yeah. over there yesterday, mm-hmm. and uh, you know what? I think they're called squish mellows. Those giant squishy yeah, pillows, the right? Pillow things, yeah. So I got one for the baby and one one for him, and then um, I I got the uh, the older girl, mm-hmm. the uh, I think she's eleven, and um, you know we we got a little purse from uh, Coach. Right. Oh yeah, and uh, had little rabbits on it, and my wife said, yeah. "What do you think?" I'm like, "It's it's cute," and she goes, "It's you're the rabbit," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." Turns out that's her birth year. Oh well, you did that on purpose. Hello, dude. So she lost her mind. I, you know, I had to leave before she got home from school, but um, oh yeah. So my daughter called me. She said, "Yeah, she loved it," and uh, to you know, thank you very much, and uh, you know that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm like, that's nice. you know, it's not her birthday, but I don't want her to feel left out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, right. Yeah. But we got the boy a uh, a remote control monster truck. I didn't to know. Sit in? Like he sits in it? No, 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 no. Or it's he, just oh, okay, okay. Yeah, a little one, right? And he, he's he's three, so his, his remote control skills, and he's never had one before. Right. Right. Aren't right. fantastic, but. He loved this thing. We charged it up. It has a rechargeable thing. You yeah. put batteries in the remote. And then uh, I got the body on it. It's Grave Digger, you know? Yes, and I didn't realize yes. that he was into monster trucks. I he feel like most boys, two to three, lost years his mind. Into monster trucks, yeah. <laughs> lost his mind. And That's um, awesome. so we, it came with a little ramp kit. So we put the ramps together. We're shooting them over, you know, around the oh living room. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then. The stair goes up and then it turns to the right and then it turns again. I yeah. go, take it, take it to, up the stairs. He's like, you could do that? I'm like, yeah, go, go, go. He takes it to the to that first landing and he puts it against the wall and I back it up with the remote and then we launch it off to like the, the first seven or eight steps. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. So then he, he runs back up there. Now he wants to do it. And um, so when the thing was dying of juice, we had to recharge it. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, oh. You know, he's just like he's like, now what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm like, buddy, you just gotta give it twenty minutes. It's gonna be fine. But I, I, I think he was, re- I think he was real happy with it. So, yeah, 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 sounds like and it. It was so fast. I all I'm saying is, if I had something like that when I was a kid, that would have been amazing. The, sh- yeah. the stuff that I was gonna say, the shit, the stuff that they have out nowadays is bananas. You know? Yeah. Well, it's crazy because they have to one up each other and stuff. So. It just has to be amazing or else it's not going to sell. Anthony has a bigger one that my son got him for Christmas. Yeah. And this thing is maybe three feet long. Right? And uh, it's wow. It, it looks heavy, but it's like real foamy looking. It feels yeah. like real light plastic, right? Yeah. So you charge it up and the same thing. You plug it in and it's huge. 
Like it's huge. Wow. And mm-hmm. we race it up and down the street. And I'm like, that's that's amazing. But you know, in my neighborhood, I probably would have gotten gotten it stolen. Somebody probably would have stolen it. Right. Or somebody yeah. would have came along with a baseball bat just to piss you off. Yeah. yeah all right girls girls i don't know i was more into that kind of stuff but girls just have it kind of lame like you you get barbies with a dream house that you have to like do everything you have to like walk them up the stairs do the little with, with I didn't their get feet this in that weird kid, position, but, right? Yeah, and their legs don't really bend, you know. The but that was back then, dude. Um, you know, girls can play with anything now. They they can play with monster trucks if they want, you know. Well, uh, that's what I'm saying. And back then, yeah. But the toys are trash back then. Remember, we talked about but slinkies. That's trash. My favorite, like, toy at, at one your point sketch? was. A- Right, that's lame. <laughs> that's just sketch. It's lame. Um, I I got a popple. Do you remember a popple? Uh uh-uh. uh. What is it? It's a. It's like a stuffed bear, but it's not really a bear. It's like an alien bear or something, and oh. it folds into itself into a ball. Like it has a pouch on its back, I think. And then you okay, I didn't like know that had a name, it. but I've seen those before. Yeah, I had a yellow and pink one, I think, and it was just my like favorite toy. And then, um, what else? I saw a dude on YouTube who um, has a, it's a gun channel, right? And he shoots different yeah. rifles and high powered pistols and shoots them at stuff and blows it up, right? Blow, yes. Blows up like bottles yeah. of juice and stuff. And um, he had a Furby. Oh yeah. And he was testing whether, like, a shotgun could go through a wall and what kind of damage it would do. So he had the Furby on there, and he had... It, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so he was shot through the wall and hit the Furby, but then he, he just hit the Furby just point blank and just blew <laughs> and blew the little plastic body out from underneath it. Yeah. And you could just see it, like, in slow motion. I'm like, that's the dumbest thing, but it, it was entertaining, if that makes yeah. any kind of sense. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, what yes. else was weird? Remember... What I, I couldn't understand was the Cabbage Patch dolls. Those things are hideous, man. Yeah. The, okay, so the originals, yes, they're hideous. They got cuter as you went along. <sighs> I was into the Garbage Pail Kids. Okay. So they looked like Cabbage Patch dolls, but they were gross. Like, was it Were they dolls, or was that like a card so game? They, I th- it I was think that cards. Was a card game. It was collectible cards. It was collectible cards, but they did come out with some dolls and stuff. Okay. Yes, that's weird yeah. to me. You know? Yeah. My so one Christmas I got a VHS tape of it was called Mad Balls Gross Jokes. So Mad Balls were a toy, but they were just like a ball with a face and the different faces were different like, you know, people or whatever, Mad Balls. But I got the tape. It was Mad Balls Gross Jokes and it was just a kind of like a just a funny video thing. <coughs> But I watched That's a funny it over title. And over. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, and it wasn't like it was gross jokes. Like this one guy had slobber. One of the Mad Balls had slobber. I YouTube. I I gotta YouTube it because it's like nostalgic for me because I would watch it okay. over and over and over. But that's the stuff I would get. I didn't want Barbies. I didn't want like a fancy crown and a magic wand or makeup or anything like that. I was into Ninja Turtles, Mad Balls. And then yeah. as I got older, it was a uh, volleyball, rollerblades, you know, the typical teenage stuff. Gotcha. I, um, yeah, we, we didn't have a lot of money growing up, so we didn't really get toy toys. Yeah. We got, we got beat a lot and, uh, no, it wasn't yeah. that bad. It wasn't that bad, but, um, so I don't know. We just, we had like Nintendo, the first Nintendo, yeah. right? And we all of us, all of us would play it. And then uh, when I got out of the Navy and went back home, my baby brothers are still little, you know what yeah. I mean? And mm-hmm. I think Kevin, who was, who's, 
in his mid thirties now, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it was maybe five or six, so just a super fun age. And he was, a, he's been playing video games since he was like three. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And he's awesome at it. He's still awesome at it. I would imagine because the hand-eye coordination doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, but I would come home late after work or just hanging out with some friends, playing pool or whatever. And uh, yeah, my mom would come in. I'm like, mom. I remember it'd be like one in the morning, like on a Friday, right? Friday night or, you know, Saturday morning. Yeah. And, uh, and mom would stop by China, you know, the Chinese place. And she's like, all right. So my, her, my stepdad would get up and we'd make coffee. It's like at one in the morning. Wow. And I, got a little, I, I might, I might even have a little buzz on me. Right. We sit yeah. there and we would eat some, some pork fried rice or some, they had these fried shrimp things. And it was just a cool yeah. bonding time that we would yeah, do. Yeah. You know? It sounds like it. And yeah. then, uh, my stepdad would go lay down, and my mom and I would I I'd make her play uh, Nintendo, you know the the Mario, yeah. whatever whatever, yeah. whatever the one was out, you know, right, and right, just seeing her land on the thing and it would fall out from underneath her and she'd freak out. So I mean, it, you know, it was just you know good times. Yeah, right? yeah. I remember when my brother he bought a Nintendo and brought it home, and we were all just around the TV watching him play uh, Mario and then Duck Hunt. Like the, it was, it was just, yeah, we were all just sitting around the TV watching this amazing video game thing. Yeah. And it was just, um, it's weird. My, my son, we have a, a like a, another room downstairs. Mm-hmm. I think it's like a bedroom, but we turned it, we have a dartboard in there and I have one of my flags that I made put yeah, up. Yeah, like a and, game um, room type man cave. Uh, yeah, a man cave. We have a big ass yeah. TV in there, yeah. and a PS Five and an Xbox, and so it's it's a cool place to hang out, you know. Yeah. And uh, so we're going there sometimes, and you know, I'll just watch him because he's so good at it. And uh, yeah. he had one called um, Spartan, not Spartan, the God of War. God of War. Oh yeah, John plays that on PS4. And that dude yeah. is just a badass. And now he's got a kid, and he has a son, and the son shoots arrows, and they're running right. around killing demons and monsters. And he's right. like, "Geez, the special effects and the graphics are ridiculous, you know, and the storyline." Yeah. So it's just fun to watch. And then he'll play right. the Call of Duty, and he's running around shooting people, and it moves so fast that I don't know how his hands and how do you, I don't know how you don't get dizzy one and how you hit anything because everything's moving so fast, you know? Yeah. Like, if I play something like that, I, like, get stuck against a wall to where you can kind of see the wall if you look this way, but then the wall disappears, and I'm like, I don't know where I am right now. I I, I can control it. I just can't move it as fast as he does, if that makes any right. sense. You know, I just yeah. can't. My, my hands don't work as fast as his. But yeah. uh, speaking of Call of Duty, we're going to go to the shooting range in a little while. Nice. And uh, I got a new, uh, I don't even know if I should be saying this, but I got a new 22. Yeah. rifle for uh mm-hmm. for christmas dude we put a, i put a new stock on it so now it's customized i got like a a, a special scope on it. it just as a door yeah but uh <laughs> it's not like i hunt squirrels or anything but it's good you know right. it's just target practice and it's just fun and it's yeah. cheap it's a 22 that's that's the main reason i got it because you shoot any of the other stuff it's gonna cost a million dollars you know yeah so. my 22 is um it's an air style yeah, yeah, I think you tell me, yeah. Which is yeah. really cool. Super it, cool. John was like, get that little one that looks like little um, little Oakley, Annie Oakley. And I was like, no, I want that one. I want that one that looks like a <laughs> badass. <laughs> like a bolt action 22, which is, you know, that would, yeah. it's fun, but, you know. I want to get a 50-round drum for it. That would be hilarious. You could, I think. I know, they have them. Yeah. But. I don't know how, how uh, reliable those things are. Anyway, so yeah, we we have a little oh, bit of uh, fun. <laughs> everything on this podcast. We talk about uh, yeah, food and toys, and uh, now we're talking about guns. Um, yeah. Now that you're yeah. starving yourself every other day, yeah. we can't really talk about food anymore. You know, the I'm one kidding. good thing though that I didn't realize is that this is a, a side benefit. But like you were saying, you yeah. don't you don't have to spend money on food, right? Mm-hmm. And you don't spend any time thinking about what it is you're gonna go eat, so you're not obsessing about, right. hey, we're gonna go here, we're gonna eat this for lunch or whatever. So you don't you're like, all right, today's just, you know, I'm cool, I'm not doing. It. So I just made some coffee. I'm gonna hang out, go to the range, and then uh, I don't know what we're doing tonight. I think she's we're going to Mexican. So yeah, yeah. So I love some Mexican. Do they have the mocha yete, mocha jete? 
What is that? It's a lava bowl. Lava rock bowl full of just a little bit of everything. It's freaking amazing. Is it like like guac? No, no. It's like there's a sauce in it, but then there's shrimp in there. There's pork. There's steak. Oh. There's chicken. There's shrimp. There's, I've seen uh, that bowl, but I've seen it with peppers, guac in onions, it. Tomatoes. I didn't know that was a separate dish. <laughs> it's huge. It's not like the guacamole bowl. Okay. But it's lava rock. So when they bring it out, uh, everything is still sizzling. And by the end of the meal... If you touch the rock, it is still burning hot. It's still hot. And then you take three fourths of it home because you can't eat that much. Damn, that sounds good though. Yeah, that it sounds is. good. Smoke yeah. a hit, smoke a I don't know, dude. Uh, the, the 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 cuisine. It's um, if you know what to order. I was, yeah. you know, I worked with a with a gentleman, and he was a Mexican dude, and he was. You're talking about different foods because Spanish people, like Puerto Ricans, might say something and. Doesn't mean the same thing as it does if a right. Mexican person says it or a Dominican person or you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So um, there, there's different slang and different you know meanings for stuff. It's, it's generally all the same, but the accents are different. And a lot of people don't realize that. It, right. You know, it's, it's it's still Spanish, but it's it's sort of like American English. You don't have a Texas drawl versus a Brooklyn guy versus yeah. a California yeah. Valley yeah. guy. You know what I mean? It's all English, Dialect. but it's yeah, that's all I'm saying. And he was telling me about these dishes that he made. And I'm like, dude, I, I kind of want to go to Mexico. Just go on a food tour. I don't know. Yes. I saw a, th- a thing. I don't know. Now we're talking about food, right? It's it, which is what <laughs> surprises me that I have the control that that that, that I do because yeah, it's 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 really um. I'm bad for your health, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. No, but to, luckily today's the eating day, so um, yeah. it was a dude on one of those food channel things. Well, that's what I watch when for entertainment. Joel yeah. Hansen, J O E L. Joel Hansen on YouTube, right? Okay. So he's a young guy, maybe 30 years old, right? Good looking kid. He's got those ear gauge things. I'm not wild about those, but yeah. But this son of a gun can eat more. Remember the, 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 the little blonde girl I was telling you about? The Katina the eight, the eats kilos? The 72 steak or whatever? Yeah. yeah. That's cakewalk for this guy. Wow. I saw this dude eat 14 pounds of barbecue on one of his challenges. You know how much 14? I, I can't even put that in my mind. That's a lot. I might be good for maybe two. Or I, I would attempt to. Tops, Not 14. Yeah. No. It was like a giant platter and it smoked this and this. And he's just going to work. So for entertainment, I watched this guy eat food. You know? Yeah. And he, 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 oh, so, and he describes it and he's like, oh, and he eats hot stuff and it's just yeah. amazing to watch. And he, and he, he wins money and he gets free food, but look him up if you get a chance. Okay. Joel, Joel Hansen. Hansen. It's effing amazing, dude. Okay. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's food porn is what it is. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah. And part of me is going, damn, I wish I could try that. And the other part of me is like, I would be so sick if I got, uh a quarter of that down. It, it, it's incredible how much he's. And my question to you is, <laughs> he he's not a big guy either. He's a little yeah. he's a little dude. What is yeah. he? What does he do on his off days? I kind of want to write him and be like, dude, I'd love to have him on the podcast. I I feel like he's probably on the toilet every other day. It's it, it's got to be a nightmare. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he speaking of speaking of toilets he he has to have a bidet because as much as he's gonna oh my gosh fair warning this might get a little the, the conversation is gonna take did you get it to- put in yet toilet humor um so it came in yesterday I asked john to hook it up and uh it's still sitting on the uh table no, or a countertop it just, it just came in but it has a cord and the cord's like this long my okay. outlet's like a little ways away. So I was like, just hook it up to an extension cord just so we can try it out, see if we like it. And if we, if we love it, which I think we will, yeah, we'll put another outlet behind the toilet. So we can just plug it in right there. Yeah. You know? And, uh, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to do it myself, I guess. Anyway, it has a heated seat. <sighs> it has, heated it has a water. What? What'd you heated say? Seat. Oh, heated water. 
and it has mm-hmm. like the nozzles that come out. They so you, you know imagine a toilet seat, and then a nozzle comes out. Um, at different positions for different people for different services uh and then it has a nozzle wash so as it goes back in it cleans itself off and there is a button i'll have to send you a picture of the remote (laughs) (coughs) there's a button on the remote that says enema (laughs) oh my god so i can only imagine like is it just full force like how's it gonna i don't even there's gotta be another hose or something in there that's you you gotta go back to like does it go like boop boop (laughs) it comes out and it goes up i I don't want to know now (laughs) i I definitely don't want to know but uh i guess that's you know why not i mean you're you're there you might as well have that as an option yeah i didn't know you um, could do that that sounds crazy he's not gonna use it i'm like what You'll be at work someday, and he's gonna he's gonna try it. I'd be like, okay, all right, I see, I see what I've been missing this whole time. Yeah, I'm gonna come but, home early, and he's in there going, "This is amazing." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait to try it. That's hilarious. But I have a feeling I'll just have to put it on myself. So no, he'll get it, man. <coughs> yeah. So that's what the plug-in is for—is to heat the water. Uh yeah yeah so the electric parts of it the the nozzle going in and out is electric, um the heated parts um because I couldn't imagine. I mean I could imagine it, but I I that wouldn't be. Cool. If it was like cold ice water. You know right what I'm and yeah and that's what a lot of people said like some people were like. I just didn't like it was just cold water, blah, blah, blah. And then one of them said, you know, that they got the heated one. So it was refreshing or whatever. I don't know. It's not a bad idea. I mean, I don't want to get up and running. Yeah, I I, I stayed in an Airbnb that had one and I liked it. So. All right. Well, now, you know, folks, you know, pretty soon I'm going to start speaking French because, you know. You can't have a bidet and not learn a little French. Dude. How do you spell that? B-I-D-E-T? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to know. All right. Well, last episode's going out today. Awesome. And, uh, which, by the time people hear this, <coughs> the one I just talked about will already be out. So, yeah, But so the welcome. numbers are uh, surprisingly uh, amazing, everyone. So thank you for... Um, Yes, thank you for listening and, and, and doing doing your thing. So, um, yes, we're open for, to requests, and uh, mm-hmm. we want to get the hotline open and have people call in. So, um, yeah, we, I, we we need to do a hot, a live show or something. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Um, we just got to line it up and get people um, on board because you know if they don't know about it, no, of course not. Or no, if it's last minute, it. they're like at dinner, so they don't know, and then. Nobody calls because they're busy. You know, we got to yeah, yeah. play in for success. For sure. Yeah. Um, so. All right. What do you think? I'm good if you are. Yeah. Enough of that toilet talk. <laughs> I'll update it's, later. It's after a, my enema. <laughs> I know, right? This show's right in the sewer. No pun intended. Or I'll call from the hospital. Well, I pushed the enema button. It was not what I expected. <laughs> I'll be here for another four to six weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you're gonna have to test that, um, and 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 let us know because we can't I'll wait to back. hear. Psych. <laughs> Keep that shit to yourself. You know? <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, I um, I sent out a bunch of emails for yes. my uh, emotional intelligence. Uh, oh yeah. Course yeah. slash workshop course. to uh, different dental hygiene groups. And I, I hit the West so far. I got to make work my way back over the, this way. Yeah. And um, so I got a couple, f- um, some some feedback. And uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, but that's how you got to get out there. So you um, do. Yep. if anyone is listening and um, you want a funny presentation on emotional intelligence to prevent quiet quitting, uh, you know, 
reduce turnover, just mm-hmm. have a fun workplace. Uh, just you know, give me a call. You know, send, yeah, send an email. Yeah, because we can't all have a Carlos or a Sandy working at your office. So yeah, they only they made two, and and that's it. And they were like, "Yep, we can't do There's this." Only one this, of me. Can't do this again. So <laughs> we broke so, the mold, huh, Carlos? That's right. <laughs> so you can hit me up at uh, what is it? What's our email, Sandy? Is it? Off your flosser at gmail dot com, okay. uh, and then you could also message us through any of our social medias. We have TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram, yeah, all those goodies. The website too, offyourflosser dot com. Yep. Check that out. Heck yeah! And uh, all right, guys, listen. Yep. We're not gonna keep you. Have a great day. Episode yep. one ninety four. One ninety four. All books. right, take care. Go floss yourselves. And, uh, go floss yourselves. Boom. <laughs> Howdy. All right. Bye. <laughs>